Okay, in this video, what I want to do is give you an overview of the paper discussion assignment. Um, and so in my Dundee, you will open up the paper discussion assignment section and you'll find a link to this Google form, the Google or Google uh, document. So this should tell you everything that you need to know to do the assignment. So it's going to be in two parts. The first part is that we are going to have a discussion that's going to be on Tuesday, the 22nd of June. And we're going to do that during class time. It will take maybe about an hour to have that discussion, but we can go on for longer if people have got, you know, interesting things that they want to say. And then the second part will be that I want you to submit a personal reflection on the kind of paper and the process of having that discussion. And I want you to do that by the end of Saturday, the 4th of July. So the entire thing is worth 10 credits. So there's five credits for the discussion and five seconds five credits for the reflection. Now the paper that we're going to discuss is classification of functional attendance or functional attention in video meetings. This is part of the CHI 2020 conference um, that was happened last month. Um, it didn't actually happen happen because it was supposed to be in Hawaii. Uh, so it was a case of like going through the uh, papers and kind of trying to find something interesting. So if you click to open that, what you will get is it will say free access. I think it's going to be free access for another month or so. If that free access disappears, just connect using the VPN, reload the page, and it will give you this exact view again. What you want to do is just click on PDF. That will give you the PDF and you can download it. So it's 13 pages. Actually, 10 of it should be content. And if I just scroll to the bottom, we can check how long it is. So it's a nice qualitative paper. Um, it's asking people to kind of complete different tasks and talk about what they were doing when that happened. Um, so it's kind of figuring out where does people attention go during video meetings. So topical and fun and interesting. So back to the original thing. What I want you to think about as you're reading through that, think about who the authors are and what experience they have. Do they have sufficient knowledge to be, you know, competent to write something like this? What problem are they addressing? And why is it a worthwhile problem to solve, right? What's their motivation to solve it? What's the potentially potential next steps now that we know the answer to that problem and any background reading is that kind of sensible and relevant to the topic that they're then studying any issues you can identify with the study any limitations hopefully that's discussed in the paper but think about how you might overcome those limitations if you were to redesign what's gone on how do they analyze the results? Is that clear? So basically, can you take their method, their results, and replicate that study with someone else? Would you be confident doing that with the information you have in the paper? And what conclusions can we draw? So the first part of this is going to be a small group discussion. Um, so basically, I will facilitate a discussion on the paper. We'll talk, start with kind of the big level questions that I've just listed there, and we'll kind of go through it. It's supposed to be a fairly informal thing. There's no set process, um, so everyone can chip in if they have something to say. Um, what we will do is we'll take kind of a note of people's microphone and stuff like that. If there's a lot of echo, we might just go to the kind of raise hand function, um, which maybe slows it down a little bit, but it gives you thinking time too. So, you know, pros and cons. Um, so if you want to annotate, highlight that copy, print it out, scribble on it, have it on your screen, um, whatever you want. The more you have written on it, I always write on things because it helps me think about it. Um, and maybe in the meeting, I'll show you kind of how I've annotated uh, my version of it. But I have also here a link. Now, this is a worksheet that I use to help people work through reading research papers. Um, so it's based on some other material um, from Waterloo and Guelph in Canada. And it essentially breaks the paper down into various sections. So it breaks it down into what is the problem? What is the motivation? Why is it a good problem to solve? What was the solution that they came up with? Was there one? How close did they get? What were their process to come into that solution? 
this will be fairly flexible in terms of the paper we've got because I don't think they've developed like a, a technology solution. Um, so that will be fairly dynamic. How did they evaluate? What sort of study did they do? And the crucial part is like, what did they contribute? How has this added to the literature? Did they just do what someone else has already done or did they find out something new in a new context or with new participants, for example? And what do we know about the authors and the venue itself? Is this a, based on what we know about the authors and the venue, is this a reputable piece of work? So there is a marking scheme available for the discussion. The marking scheme is essentially those sections um, just kind of laid out a little bit differently. So what do we know about the author? What do we know about the background information? Anything that you've read? Um, if any of the particular statements in the uh, previous related work are interesting, you know, follow up on them. What was their study design? What are the implications from their evaluation? So now obviously we're in this digital world. So if they've discovered interesting things about attention and video calls, what can we do with that information? And how do they kind of include? There's a section for a professional approach, which is just kind of, you know, giving other people the space to talk, um, being critical without being um, kind of rude about the paper. Like, don't go, oh, this paper's rubbish. Um, it's probably not a rubbish paper because it's in Kai, to be fair. Uh, but if there are things that you think are shortcomings, addressing them in a kind of constructive way um, and also just kind of letting other people chip in and so on. I don't think that will be a problem from what I've seen of you so far. And then there's just a, a marking scheme there to give you a sense of what sort of things might be included in each section. Um, don't think too much about it. Um, the marking scheme is deliberately flexible so that we can take that discussion in any way uh, that we want on the day. The second 50% of that overall mark is going to be for personal reflection. So I'd like you to do two things. I'd like you to summarise the paper based on the discussion. So your kind of initial view of the paper might have changed based on that discussion. So give me some kind of summary. And then give me a reflection on your experience of reviewing that paper because I guess you've not reviewed many uh, research papers up until that point. So kind of what was your experience of doing that? And what was your experience of having that peer discussion so you know did you were you kind of on point with everyone else was there things that other people found that you didn't how did they find those things um, and that will all come out of the discussion that we we have uh, you can submit that in any format you want if you want to submit it as interpretive dance you can carry on i think the most likely way that you're going to do it is a report or a presentation but if you're thinking of something that's not one of those two things um you know you want to do a poster or something um, let me know when we can discuss that. My suggested kind of limits, just to keep this manageable for you as well, is a one-page written report or a four-minute presentation. Um, but that is flexible, so if you want to, if you think you really have a lot to say, uh, go for it, but one page is what I'm expecting. Again, there's a marking scheme for this, so the marking scheme I have is basically those kind of part one, part two A and part two B. Um, if you want to lay your, if you're writing it and you want to lay it out using those headings, that makes life simple. Um, so that's probably a nice structure to start with. Uh, so basically that is the overview. Discussion will be on Tuesday the 23rd. Personal reflection will be on the 4th of July submission. Any questions, drop me an email. You'll find the link to this document in my Dundee under Assignments HCI.